And now, the general weather around Alaska. Up first on Hazardous Weather Graphic, we've got uh, high wind warnings out here in the red shaded areas. First of the Lower Yukon River Valley, Marshall and those areas in that zone there. High wind warning out tonight for winds gusting to 60 miles per hour. Also for St. Lawrence Island, the Bering Strait coast there, as well as the north side of the Seward Peninsula, including uh, Shishmaref. That's out until midnight tonight, and they're looking for winds gusting to 65 miles per hour. Otherwise, moving on to satellite imagery. See a lot of uh, clouds here over the northern Bering Sea, right on down along the west coast. And uh, that really starting to thin out down here over the southern areas, as well as up here to the north. So the freezing rain they had over the uh, Seward Peninsula today, shifting westward and getting some mixed precipitation over St. Lawrence Island. Very windy conditions along the coast today, all the way down to the Alaska Peninsula. Another system down here, not quite as uh, impressive looking on the satellite imagery here as this one, or even the stronger one back to the west there, with uh, storm and gale force winds here and about an inch of rain falling today at ADAC. And Nikolsky had winds gusts, peak wind gusts, 65 miles per hour. Otherwise, a uh, little bit of light rain there around Kodiak Island, clearing over southern Alaska here with uh, also not showing up too well on the satellite imagery here. Lower clouds sliding up, covering the Gulf of Alaska, pushing into Prince William Sound. Cloudy skies there, uh, Whittier into Portage and down toward uh, Seward there. A little bit of shower activity, mostly off the coast with just a hundredth of an inch falling at uh, Middleton Island today and a uh, little bit of light rain or showers along the south coast of the Kenai Peninsula. Picking up the wind and rain, a little bit heavier there down toward Kodiak Island in advance of that front. And uh, winds today gusting anywhere from 40 to, or 35 to 60 miles an hour across the yukon Kuskokwim Delta, right on down toward the Alaska Peninsula. Perryville had a peak wind gust of 60 miles per hour. And earlier today, a little bit of shower activity over Prince of Wales Island, nothing heavy, but that kind of slipping off to the south now, having ended down there, and just left some variable clouds around for the southeast coast. Up over the interior, strong high pressure in the Yukon continues to ridge into the interior of the state here, keeping it uh, mostly clear all the way up to the Arctic coast and on the cool side. And then this next big storm, again with uh, heavy wind and rain pushing into the Aleutians and Southern Bering Sea tonight will kind of pull to the northwest a little bit there, southwest of, or south of Kiska Island. Front weakening as it pushes eastward here, but it's still quite a gradient here across uh, western Alaska, especially the Yukon Kuskokwim Delta, Bristol Bay and the Alaska Peninsula out toward the eastern Aleutians. Still a windy, wet night for Kodiak Island. A different story for the interior, light winds, dry conditions, and a lot of clearing again. See some increase in the clouds here for Cook Inlet and probably cloudy for the Kenai Peninsula with chance of showers, southern areas, Resurrection Bay, Kamishak Bay, Kachemak Bay, those areas. And uh, But uh, it'll be on the light side, dry though, all the way up to the Arctic coast. Some clearing for the Seward Peninsula. Lighter winds there, so better conditions moving into those areas up here to the north, Norton Sound, St. Lawrence Island. Looks like it'll finally dry out. Look for a little bit of an increase in those winds there for the panhandle. A little tighter gradient here, kind of a weak trough off the coast there, but uh, nothing too significant associated with that. Just look for the northeast winds to pick up a little bit in the channeled areas. And for the day Monday, no change over the interior or the southeast coast. Looks like whatever winds pick up tonight will drop back off tomorrow and tomorrow afternoon. As you can see, the gradient really relaxes there. So very nice day coming up there. Uh, windy, wet, Kodiak Island, Alaska Peninsula in toward, uh, well, actually, not too bad for the eastern Aleutians. You're now west of the front. Front's gone through, maybe a few showers, much lighter winds, but very windy conditions here across the southwest interior. But all the wind warnings will be over by tomorrow afternoon, but the winds will still be blowing in many of these areas there right up to the Bering Strait. That strong low pressure area pulling back to the west a little bit. And then on Tuesday, it pulls back all the way to the Komodorskis or so. 
So uh, winds and precipitation diminish across all of the Aleutian chain here. This front with the pull low pulling back to the northwest just hangs up and weakens right along the southwest coast. Areas of rain and snow, Kodiak Island, the Alaska Peninsula, right on up to St. Lawrence Island. Seward Peninsula dry, Norton Sound to Kotzebue Sound dry. Start picking up some good clearing there from the North Slope Arctic coast. Central eastern interior, light winds and mostly clear skies, mostly sunny skies in the afternoon. Uh, still a few clouds, areas of clouds over the uh, Kenai Peninsula Cook Inlet. Looks like the Manuska Valley, Prince William Sound though, North Gulf Coast, all the southeast coast should be mostly sunny with light winds. Lows tonight, upper 30s for Kodiak Island, Bristol Bay, anywhere from 0 to 15, South Central Alaska, the Cuscom Valley, uh, looks like 15 to 20 below for the Copper River Basin, about 13 for Valdez. And in the teens here for the Panhandle, mid-20s, out toward the uh, central and south coast. Highs tomorrow, upper 20s, inland areas of the Panhandle, and to the north here, mid-30s, down to the south, and uh, rising to about uh, 5 degrees for areas of the Copper River Basin. Some areas, of course, warmer, other areas cooler. Upper, mid to upper 20s here, south central Alaska, near 40 for Homer, lower 40s for Kodiak and Bristol Bay, mid to upper 30s there. And then the lows back down to 15 below in the Copper River Basin. Milder though here, south central Alaska, 10 to 15 and sit in the valley. And then it looks like uh, upper teens to lower 30s for the Kenai Peninsula, upper 30s Kodiak Island, again for Bristol Bay and for the uh, southeast coast, lows in the teens and 20s. That will be followed by highs in the 20s and 30s there. And back above zero, at least a uh, short distance above zero there, around 5 to 10 for the Copper River Basin, upper 20s. Uh, so sit in the valley, near 30. Kenai Peninsula, near 40. Homer Seldovia, lower 40s for Kodiak Island, and also for Bristol Bay. Up to the north tonight, lows uh, generally below zero from the Tanana Valley. Up to the Arctic coast, milder though in the Brooks Range with warmer air aloft here shifting up and uh, lower 20s there for the uh, Shishmaref area, but near 30 for Nome, right around the frost point there for Savunga. Highs tomorrow below zero in the Yukon Flats, and that's about it. Everyone else rising above zero. Mid to upper 20s for the western Arctic coast, 10 to 15 on the east side, 30 to 35 for the Seward Peninsula, Yukon Delta area, single numbers in the interior except up into the teens around mid-teens around the greater Fairbanks area. That'll be followed by lows anywhere from 20 to 30 below here in the Yukon Flats with uh, five below to uh, five above for the central interior except Northway Toke areas down to about 20 below. 33 for the low for Nome and uh, otherwise zero on the eastern Arctic coast with five to 15 degree readings on the west side followed by highs five to 15 there for the Arctic coast north slope up into the mid-teens or so for the Brooks Range and down to uh, staying below zero here Tuesday afternoon, the Yukon Flats with highs 15 to 20 in the Tanana Valley, a little cooler toward uh, Tanana, about 10 back to 15 to the west there, upper 30s for Nome and St. Michael and for the southwest coast, lower 30s tonight, upper 30s everywhere else, lower 40s over the Alaska Peninsula and eastern Aleutians. Highs tomorrow in the 30s to near 40, except uh, lower 40s on Alaska and Nikolsky, followed by lows. Again, upper 30s to lower 40s in many areas there for the eastern Aleutians, Alaska Peninsula, mid 30s for the southwest coast and the remainder of the Bering Sea and the Aleutians. That'll be followed by highs around 40 for the Aleutians, uh, 42 or so for, uh, let's see, Sand Point, Cold Bay, mid 30s for the southwest coast.